Hi everyone, it's Graham again and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to do a book review and it's a, a review of a book that I absolutely devoured, I absolutely loved it and I'm so excited that it's just the first in a new series. Um, this ticks all the boxes for, for my reading enjoyment and I hope that you can pick this up and, and enjoy it too because this book deserves to be read, it deserves to be loved and it deserves just all the accolades ever. Um, it is The Windsor Knot by S.J. Bennett and the series is Her Majesty the Queen Investigates. So this is basically the Queen as Miss Marple um, and it's great. I mean that could be the review right there. Um, because what more do you need to know? <laughs> this is incredibly funny. Um, I shall read you the inside. The morning after a dinner party at Windsor Castle, 89-year-old Queen Elizabeth is shocked to discover that one of her guests has been found murdered in his room, with a rope around his neck. When the police begin to suspect her loyal servants, Her Majesty knows they are looking in the wrong place for the Queen has been living an, an extraordinary double life ever since her teenage years. Away from the public eye, she has a brilliant knack for solving crimes. With her household's happiness on the line, her secret must not get out. Can the Queen and her trusted secretary, Rosie, catch the killer without getting caught themselves? Um, it just, it's amazing. The end papers as well are absolutely delicious. I can't get enough of these. Um, so obviously you've got the crown, you've got the queen herself, and a couple of corgis. It's just incredible. Um, so basically, the queen is in Windsor Castle, um, and there is a party going on. I believe it's called a sleep and dine, um, or a dine and sleep. It's, it's one of those. Um, so the, the, the party's going on, you get fed at this party, there's dancing, there's music, and then you get to stay over in Windsor Castle. I don't know how much of that is true or not, but a lot of this book, there's a lot of fact in here, and that's what makes it so brilliant, the, the fact that there, there is so much true uh, fact in this book that the fiction side almost could be believable and it's just brilliant. So there's a there's a dine and sleep party in Windsor Castle. Um, a Russian man is found hanged in his room in his wardrobe and it is believed that he has died due to autoerotic asphyxiation which is basically It's, it's, a, it's a sexual thing, shall we say. Um, but the Queen knows better. Uh, she sees the signs that not everything is as it seems. Um, it's just brilliant. So we, we, we follow a couple of different um, people's points of view. So we have the Queen, we have her, um, her assistant personal uh, secretary, um, Rosie who is a black woman. Um, she's an ex-army soldier. Um, she's keen on horses and she's just fitted right into this job. Um, and it's just, oh, she's just, the character building in this book is, is just second to none and I absolutely adored it. Um, so we, we, we follow mainly the Queen and mainly Rosie um, and how the Queen figures out all these clues and all the the sort of um, how she feeds back the clues to the police and to other people without them realising that she's doing it. It's I don't have the words to describe how amazing the plot is, how brilliantly well written this book is and just I, I feel like I'm just fangirling over this book. I, I just loved it so much. Um, I have recommended this book to at least six other people. Um, three people in Tesco 
uh, as I was looking at the bookshelves, perusing my next purchase, um, there were three separate women. Um, obviously, we were socially distant. We had our masks on. Um, and they were looking at the, the sort of mystery section. And I, I don't usually like speaking to strangers, but I was like, do you like mysteries? <laughs> and all three of them, yes, mysteries were what they were after. And I pointed to this book and said, you have to read this. And they were like, well, what's that about? It, it, the cover looks really pretty. Um, and I was like, it's so much more than that. It's the Queen, basically, as Miss Marple. And all three of these women in Tesco's picked this book up and were like, straight away, without even bothering to read the blurb, they were like, I'm having it, that's, that's mine. <laughs> I don't know how many of them, when I walked away, put it back on the shelf. I would hope they didn't, but yes. So again, back to the plot. We, we follow the Queen and uh, a couple of other people and, and Rosie, who is the, the, the assistant personal secretary. Um, and the <sighs> Rosie is the sort of one that does the, does the footwork. She uh, interviews people, um, the, the police are doing their own investigations and they're, the Queen believes that they're going in the wrong direction entirely. Um, she knows that it's murder. Um, a couple more bodies show up, obviously not in royal residences, but um, there's a case of identity theft and it's all very twisty and the police believe that it's to do with um, Vladimir Putin. Um, I'm not going to say whether it turns out to actually be about that or not because that would spoil it far too much. You have to read it. Um, and the end of this book, when the police have figured it out and it's gone the way the Queen wanted it to because she's fed all the information back um, to, the, to the police, she, they, they are, they're having an audience with Her Majesty um, they're describing all the all the clues and how they figured it out, and she's just sitting there, nodding her head, agreeing, asking some questions, but knowing all the time that she is the one that solved this crime. But they believe that they've done it because she's so skillful in the way that she has fed them this information. <laughs> it's just superb. Um, there was one. Let me find it. I should have probably found this already. Um, and because I'm Scottish, I appreciated this just outstanding piece of writing. Um, I shall I shall read it to you. No, I mean it. No wonder everyone's keeping it hush hush. That and protecting your fragile nerves. The Queen threw him a look. They forget I've lived through a war. That Ferguson girl and you in the Navy. And yet, they think you'll need smelling salts if they so much as hint at anything fruity. All they see is a little old lady in a hat. He grinned as she frowned. That last remark was true and very useful and rather sad. Don't worry, Cabbage. They love that little old lady. He rose stiffly from his chair. Don't forget, I'm off to Scotland later. The salmon's spectacular this year, Dickie says. Need anything? Fudge? Nicola Sturgeon's head on a platter? So yes, that just, for me, was just brilliant. And it, it felt so relatable at that point. And I, love, I just loved it. You have to read this because it's just glorious. And I'm so excited because the next book is out a year from now, next November. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the only sad thing. Um, but yeah, if you get the chance to, please do, because it is so brilliant and clever and funny and it's just so down to earth. It doesn't have airs and graces, even though it's the Queen as Miss Marple, basically. Just read it. It's brilliant. So that's my rambling review of... The Windsor Knot by S.J. Bennett. Um, what are you reading? Tell me down below. We'll have a chat about it. But anyway, I shall let you get on with the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever you're doing, I hope you have so much fun doing it. Whatever you're reading, I hope you love it. Stay fabulous. Be amazing. Be yourself. Stay safe. 
and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye-bye.